Hello everybody and welcome to this scouting report. I'm Dan Hayek here with armchair analyst Matt Doyle and today we're previewing the Saturday afternoon match between Toronto FC and the New England Revolution. Matt, let's start with the attacks for both of these teams with the magic number. It is 24. That's how many shots on target Toronto has taken so far this year. It's second least in the league. New England only has two more shots on target in two more games seems to indicate to me that it's going to be a defensive stalemate. Well, I, I think it'll be more of a tactical stalemate. The, the reason these two teams are near the bottom of the league in shots on target isn't because they don't want to go forward. It's that they want to go forward selectively. Mm -hmm. uh, Toronto is a pure defended counter team. And teams like that don't generate a lot of chances. New England, they're, they're a bit of a hybrid. They do like to spread you out a little bit, but they don't generate a lot through possession. It's almost all in transition with them. So it really is a battle of styles. It's not going to be two teams just sitting in their own end, you know, parking the bus for 90 minutes. That said, I do think both of these teams now have shown that they can possess the ball in midfield a little bit and should start trying to work that into what they do a little bit more and build from that. I mean, especially in Toronto's case with Jermaine Defoe, likely back in the mix for this one, maybe from the start, you kind of want to get him as many chances as you possibly can. That seems like a good plan to me anyway. <laughs> and of course for New England, the guy that will be charged with creating from that possession play would be Lee Wynn. So let's focus on him for our man-to-man -man win versus Michael Bradley. Yeah, this is a good one actually. Lee Wynn is playing at a best 11 caliber for the Rez. I, he actually got my second place vote for player of the month for April. He's been that good. And Michael Bradley, I mean, what is there to say? <laughs> we, we've said a lot about Michael Bradley already this year. He's earned all the plaudits that he's gotten. Uh, Lee Wynn has to be really, really good in this one. Has to get, I think, further up the pitch. It's a little counterintuitive because they're on the road, but you want to get further up the pitch, drag Bradley with him, make Bradley primarily a defender, and that will hamstring, I think, the Toronto FC attack a little bit just by positioning. And then, of course, the other stuff you have to work in is, hey, Lee Wynn is really good on the ball, <laughs> really good at getting out of traffic, and he's become a close to elite chance creator as well. Bradley's going to have his hands full, but we've seen what he can do defensively and, of course, going forward in transition hitting the final ball. All right, we'll find out if Lee Wynn wins the battle against Michael Bradley on Saturday. It kicks off at 1 p.m. Eastern time. You can watch it on MLS Live in the States and TSN2 in Canada.